My name's Sue Bryan and I've been researching the cabbage tree hats, which were the most common hat in Australia until the 1900s. Now this is a traditional cabbage tree hat and they were traditionally decorated with a black velvet band, whether they were worn by men or women. Now, they were first described in Australia in 1799 and the convicts were taught to make them. Women in the Parramatta female factory wove the senate and then sewed it into the hats. Now these hats were made from the cabbage tree palm, which was the most common palm tree that grew on the east coast of Australia, right down from North Queensland down to Victoria. And the way they did it is that they would take the unopened leaf spear, the young leaves, before they'd opened up, they would boil them and they would dry them. And this is, that's what they look like when they've been boiled and dried. And you can see that they open into a big fan. After that, the leaves were pulled apart and they were soaked in, in warm water and cut into strips. Now, they were cut into strips using a cutter. This is a convict made cutter, which was found underneath the floorboards in Hyde Park Barracks in a rat's nest, along with some pieces of woven sennet. And sennet is what we call the long strip. So they were used to cut the leaf and the leaf was cut into strips like this. And then it was woven. Now it's a type of plaiting but it's called weaving traditionally so that it takes about 20 meters to make a hat like this one. Now the width of the cutter blades, how far apart these blades are, determines how fine the weave is. This weave, this leaf here has been cut to a finer width and that makes a hat like this one. You can see in comparison it's a much finer hat. So that the very finest hats would make would be made from about 300 yards, about 250 meters of woven strip of senate. That one contains about 80 meters. Now, there is our senate woven up, ready to be sewn into a hat. To make the hat, you start sewing at the center here, and you sew round and round and round till you get to the top, or the size you want. Then you tighten it, you're sewing, and you bring it down. Then you make it looser to bring it out and the inside of the hat looks like that. <laughs>